Hello, it's Thursday, and um, I got tea in the mail yesterday that I ordered. It's nice fancy tea, poor tea, raw poor tea. Um, I, I'm still into tea, and I'm, but I still feel like I'm new. Uh, so there's lots of different types of tea I've tried, but I haven't really dove into raw poor yet. Um, which is a Chinese tea that's um, sort of packed into these cakes. Um, I got four quarter cakes of each of a different type of, of pur. Um, and then they're usually aged. So this one was picked in 2010. Um, this is a pretty classic one. All of, all of these four are pretty classic from what I know. So, um, so I'm gonna try breaking into one and, uh, and giving it a taste. And it's gonna be a bit, uh, it's gonna be a bit messy, but I'm also gonna try to, um, I'm gonna try to weigh the leaves. I can, I can usually just go by sight with this sort of stuff and sort of put the amount in the, in the pot that I think is applicable, but, um, this is a new kind of tea, I'd rather just go by the instructions. So we're gonna weigh out four grams, oh gosh, four grams for this like 80 more pot. Hi Dave. I'm filming a video for YouTube right now. You can say hi, but you're not in the frame. T tell the YouTube people I say hey. Dave says hey. Um, so let's try to get four grams. Oh, that's four grams. That seems like only a little bit, but that's what we're gonna put in there. I've already warmed up the teapot, which you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. Um, and then, uh, pour is, is this, this type of tea where you're really thinking about the whole experience of drinking it. Um, from what I know, again, I'm pretty new at this, but um, whereas like most Western folks just think about like the taste, the taste of the tea, um, really poor um, is more about body feeling and the aroma and taste is just sort of one of the aspects of the tea. So the other thing is that poor can be pretty complex sometimes. You're taking tea and you're aging it. This tea is 12 years old, so all sorts of like funk um, has gotten into this, which ideally makes the tea taste better. Um, but again, I don't know, I might end up hating poor, um, in which case I'll have a lot to give away. Um, but I've liked so much of the tea that I've tried thus far, all different sorts of tea, that I think I'll like this. Yeah. Um, so this is still pretty hot from when I boiled it. Um, I'll hit it with some boiling water and steep it just for a short period of time. This is another difference between Western style brewing and pour. Actually, you're meant to just rinse the leaves really quick at the beginning to get any of the crap that's on the surface out. Um, and maybe any of the little particles on there. So we do that and then we just dump it out. That's why I have this wooden box. Um, there's sort of, you probably can't tell, I probably can't show you without making it. See these, it's, it's sort of a grate. And you can just dump the water in there. And now that we've rinsed the leaves, we can give this a proper steep. And steep it for like, um, I don't know, maybe 15 to 30 seconds. Um, I don't know if it gave me instructions about steeping. It gave me instructions about the amount of the leaf to water ratio. Um, but from what I've seen, 
30 seconds is probably fine for a first seat, maybe a little bit shorter. I'm just feeling it out. That's probably okay for a first steep. And here's sort of another difference between Western tea and this Chinese tea. Um, poor specifically, you can, you're supposed to be able to steep it over and over again. And as this sort of packed cake of leaves opens up, you get more depth of flavor um, and sort of changing flavors as some flavors come out more during the early steeps and some flavors come out more during the later steeps. Um, so you, it's really a whole experience from the beginning to the end. And actually before I drink this, I'm gonna smell the wet leaves, which should give me a different experience. And now that I'm smelling raw poor, um, I'm realizing what the similarities and differences are with um, the ripe poor that I've had before. So ripe, ripe poor isn't, um, isn't aged like this tea is. Um, instead, they wanted to figure out, the tea manufacturers wanted to figure out how to um, give the, the taste of an aged tea without having to wait so long. So, um, so shupur is, um, almost fermented. It's put in these piles, these wet piles of leaves and sort of turned, um, so that it goes through a sort of funky fermentation process, um, on its own, or I guess via the help of the farmers. And shupur tastes really funky and really good. But this, I can see how this smells more, more complex than Shupur and maybe a little more subtle. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, the flavor isn't very intense yet. I have a lot more steeps to go on this and this first steep you're just sort of like getting a preview of what's to come with the tea. Um, but it tastes, it tastes like nice and earthy and funky. It does remind me of the shu pour that I like to drink, um, in that it's much, it, it has that sort of body to it, this like thickness. Yeah, it's like, it feels like thick and buttery, which is really nice. Um, and these are just my initial impressions as someone who has never drank this type of tea before. Um, I've had a, a little bit of oolong tea, um, sort of one or two of each of the types of oolong tea. Um, and I've had a couple different types of shupur, um, some Chinese green, Japanese green, um, what else? White. Um, I really like uh, Baimudan white tea. Um, but like each of each of those different things, you can like really dive into. Um, and this was sort of the last the last tea type that I really hadn't experienced in full. So I guess when you zoom all the way out, I can see what the people who made Shu Pur were going for. They were going for this sort of earthy fermented taste. But I think with, with the Shu that I've been drinking, the sort of high end of the flavor profile, if you want to call it that, um, is more of like a minty flavor. Whereas this, you get like a little bit of that mintiness, but you also get, at least for me, like a little bit 
a little bit more of like, um, um, like sweet, almost like fruity. Let me see. Yeah, it's like just like a little bit of hint, a little hint of like fruity or flowery or like something up there. That seems interesting. I'm gonna steep this again and see if I can get a little bit more out of it this time. And while I'm steeping, maybe I'll clean up some of the, <laughs> the rogue leaves that splattered across the table as I broke up the cake. Um, but yeah, I've, I, I've really been enjoying getting into tea. Um, it's a nice solitary activity for me, um, although I do like making tea for others. Um, but it feels really calming and it helps it like it's it's a nice feeling to just focus on one thing and to focus on just like taking in all of the sensory offerings of this one thing. I think I need to leave but that's deep a little bit longer. I'm getting very anxious to taste the second steep. Let's call that good. Nice, and that's a bit darker. I haven't really been showing you the tea, but it's mostly because the camera is in a bit of a precarious position. And, well, let's see if I can do it this time. I'll show you, I'll see if I can show you the color. Oh, yeah, I can't quite show you the color. I end up spilling the tea if I do. Hmm. There's more complexity, but I also think I was, I was, um, I was a bit mean and I steeped it for too long. Because now I'm getting a little bit of, um, a little bit of that bitterness as well. But that's just part of the process of getting to know these teas and understanding what sort of temperature of water and duration of steep is, uh, is going to give you the flavor that you're looking for and sort of bring out the best of the tea. The good thing about this steep, even though it's a little bitter, is that I can taste more of the complexity of the tea. I can taste a little bit more of sort of like the high end and mm. and it's it's pretty nice um i didn't think i would do a perfect job steeping this tea on the first go um, but i i tried my best and i have you know this has plenty more steeps in it hopefully i'll i'll be able to bring it back from it, the bitter edge um But it's quite nice. Let me see if I, the leaves smell any different. The leaves still smell very good. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna keep drinking this tea um, to prevent this video from going on and on. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to in terms of tea drinking. And I wanted to share that experience of, of trying Pu'er for the first time, um, which so far is quite fun, but also a little bit challenging. Um, so, uh, yeah, hope you have a good day. Bye.